We're here today with uh, Pastor Jerry Beal. He's the director of uh, Sons of Thunder. And we're here at Sons of Thunder in Zambia, Africa. And Jerry, I'd like to, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Hardly. I see, uh, I see you as a man of modest means, but yet I also see that uh, somehow that man of modest means from America somehow has wound up with 10,000 acres of, uh, of uh, African, African land. And so could you please just give us a, some insight on how that came about so many years ago? Well, we felt a call of God to uh, buy this place and to teach uh, the uh, African people, the Zambians, good uh, agricultural principles and to help in many other ways. And so um, we prayed and we shared the vision and I told others about it and asked them if they felt led to help and God uh, brought in provision to um, buy the place and has continued to provide that we have grown in and the many ministries. And who is we? Who is we? Um, some of uh, my church that I was pastoring that, at that time in Damascus, Maryland, and uh, others who were friends who felt a similar vision as I shared with them. And we're now known as Sons of Thunder. Sons of Thunder. Okay, uh, that's been how many years now? My wife is better at keeping uh, track of the years than I am, but it's... Uh, Within 10 years. Uh, we started in uh, 1996. 1996. So what is that? 16 years? 16 years. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take a look. We're going to take a look out here some of the African countryside that's, uh, that's in back of the, uh, of the guest house here at Sun of Thunder. So uh, we'll take a look at what the, what the countryside looks like. Uh, you must have had some difficulties in the beginning out here getting things going. And uh, uh, would you like to share maybe uh, some of those difficulties that you had to overcome and some of the victories also that you have had? Well, I yeah, felt much like it was a um, God-directed ministry. And so and we tried to walk step by step rather than having a long-term vision of what we wanted to accomplish. Uh, there were some dreams, but we knew that we would have to learn on the go. And so we called and prayed and asked God to help us. Agriculture has been a real challenge, but we're very pleased with what we've learned now in farming God's way and putting that into practice. Now, uh, I think you've said so far that agriculture was your primary emphasis going in. At what point did you realize that you needed to have a, uh, a medical component? Well, let me say uh, agriculture was one of our main emphasis, but the main emphasis was uh, for people to know Jesus Christ and to be saved and ready to go to heaven. And that has remained our main interest. And because that is primary, uh, we have continued to look at what the needs of the people are. And so out of that, we would see uh, things like, oh, there are many people here who are sick and they have uh, nothing to provide for them. So God opened the door to start a medical ministry. Mm -hmm. And then we saw many children in uh, the bush who had no opportunity for education. And that brought about uh, a desire to try to build a school and to bring education to people who otherwise would have none. And we've seen widows and orphans, and uh, we've reached out through the establishing of a church so that we could uh, help uh, those who are widows and orphans by providing them with food and with uh, provision and with shelter and to bring them a loving care as well. So these things came about uh, as the Lord led you and as the Lord provided then uh, as the time went on. Yes, that's true. Okay. Well, uh, do you have any, uh, any, any final, final comments? I want to make this a little, little good, but a little bit short. <coughs> it has um, been very interesting to follow God. And what you said in the beginning was, is um, we have uh, not had a lot of money to just be able to do this, but I'm persuaded that if God calls you to something, 
he will provide yeah. the means and the way to do it. So those of you who have a dream, who have a call, don't be discouraged. Uh, follow God and he'll, yes. uh, he'll provide. Yes, I'm, I'm, again, I'd like to repeat, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat amazed, quite amazed that a, that a man as yourself, a modest means, can, can look out over 10,000 acres and, and see the, over the years the fruits of, of, of that obedience to the Lord. Well, I praise God. It has been nothing but His miraculous touch and provision. All right. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. We appreciate you so much. Bye-bye. Oh,